disclaimer. What's up gamers, I love the website Kick. It houses all my favorite streamers. Neon, the guy who faked his own death and then got caught at a basketball game. XQC, the guy who learned English from the minions. Oh, I watch this, you I watch dropping off. What? But of course, my all time favorite streamer, Aiden Ross. And I would say it's been a big week for Aiden Ross with controversy, but that's basically every week. You see, recently, he had Donald Trump on his stream, which is already incredibly random. And I mean, I don't know who on Donald Trump's team signed off on that collab, but I don't think they did enough research into Aiden Ross. Because if they knew that his biggest enemy was a dictionary and a reading comprehension over the age of five, I don't think they would have done the stream. Ultra, is it ultra, ultra analytic? Oh my God, ultra analyst. Analyst. Ultra nationalist. But maybe they would have thought twice after they saw the clip of Aiden sniffing Andrew Tate's chair after he stood up. Yes, that did actually happen, by the way. That guy's a freak. But on this stream, Aiden gave the former president a Rolex. And his Rolex was, you know, obviously it's a Rolex. It's very expensive. However, another popular political streamer, Hassan, pointed out that Aiden had broken the FEC rule. The only gifts you can donate have to be up to a value and cannot exceed $3,300. So Aiden had to take the watch back. I'm not sure why, but this prompted Aiden to get very angry at Hassan of all people. I, I don't know why. Hassan didn't write the rules, so I don't know why he got mad at him. This shit, bro. I'm gonna tell y'all, like, from the ground up, we're gonna react to everything. Hassan, bro, you really got issues, bro. I swear to God, Hassan, Abby. You have actual issues, all right? You got some real issues. So chat, I have to just clarify. I have to take that Rolex back. There's a presidential Rolex that I gave uh, President Trump. I have to take it back. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna give it to uh, uh, Baron Trump, all right? So Hassan, you, you, you're you right, bro, all right? I'm not giving it to President Trump anymore. We are giving it to Baron, okay? Baron. But this actually led to Aiden saying something kind of insane. Trainwrecks is right. Y'all all got some shit on you and I can't wait for it to drop. Can't fucking wait. Holy shit. Bro, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Oh my God. Hassan, I cannot wait for that. Oh, I, bro. I, I'm praying. Yo, I'm praying to God your shit leaks this year. I will put, bro. I will pay a million dollars. Whoever finds the shit on him, a million dollars. Swear to God. I locked. Locked. I so as you can see in that clip, Aiden is very adamant that Hassan has some dirt that he's hiding from the public. And he says he'll pay a million dollars to anyone that can find it. I don't know who Aiden thinks Hassan is. I don't think he's like a One Piece character. He doesn't need a bounty on his head. He's not trying to become King of the Pirates. Aiden Ross is just delusional. I mean, he said that if Donald Trump didn't win, he would be fleeing the country. You guys are going to say cat, but bro, if, you know, if, if Trump ends up losing to some rigged propaganda, I'm going to probably leave this country. But I feel like I've already made it pretty clear in this video that Aiden Ross is like insane. But this wasn't the only big thing that happened to Aiden this week. You see, as many people know, he has a $100 million deal to stream on Kick. However, he got banned recently. You see, Aiden was streaming some content that didn't quite match up to Kick's guidelines, which is already a surprising sentence to say because I didn't even know that Kick had policies. To me, it's like the Wild West. You can get away with basically anything. I mean, about a month ago, I saw a guy in New York Pull, it, pull his gun out on a couple that like didn't want to be filmed but anyway someone from the kick staff came into his chat and said hey uh, you're breaking our policies please stop streaming this and remove the vod but you see aiden didn't like this and he let out his years of, of shaolin training with andrew tate and he literally asked them to ban him kick team hello there we want to give you a heads up the content you're currently streaming is in the line with it. hey yo kick team i don't know who's running shut the fuck up respectfully shut the fuck up you're not gonna do that to me and i promise you not ban me Bam, I'll take another 81 day break. Do that to me right fucking now, I dare you. And so they banned him. He did get unbanned shortly after, but it's funny to think that the guy that owns 30% of Kick got banned from his own platform. That's kind of all I really have for today. Uh, it's a short-ish video. I do want to make more videos I haven't uploaded in like a month. The last thing was about lol cringe, and then that situation died down. And I know he's probably watching this video. MK, stop stealing all my video topics. But that's going to be it from me, gamers. I'll see you all in eight months with my next upload.